Hi, welcome back. In this module, I will share with you something really awesome. That is how to force the universe to give you what you want. By the end of this module, you will have the knowledge of how to magnetize everything that you want to attract into your life and live life on your terms. Isn't it intriguing, the cause and effect mechanism? What we are in the here and now is caused by preceding thoughts. This incredible fact arms us with the might to manifest what we seriously want by drawing it into the present. Attraction Mantra Secrets is a beautiful phenomenon, isn't it? Wouldn't it be awesome to be able to force the universe to give you what you want? Abundance of health, wealth, and happiness. What if I tell you that you can do that right now? All you have to do is follow these three simple steps. 1. Accept responsibility. 2. Being dedicated. 3. Law of Visualization To force the universe to give you anything you ask for, first of all, you have to accept responsibility. You have to know that what you go through now is definitely of your own accord. If you want to be successful, you have to take 100% responsibility for everything that you experience in your life. And that is the very first step to taking control of your life. Be proactive and never reactive. This includes the level of your achievements, the results you produce, the quality of your relationships, the state of your health and physical fitness, your income, your debts, your feelings, everything. This is not easy. It's not always pleasant to take responsibility for our life and circumstances, especially when those circumstances are unfavorable or completely out of our direct control. However, when you fail to take responsibility, you put yourself at a clear disadvantage. You are disadvantaged because you are resigned to the fate that you are powerless and incapable of making things better. Remember that you are responsible for yourself, whether you like it or not. No one is racing to save you, no one will hand you the ultimate job, and no one will work out your relationship issues. No one will lose the additional blubber on your body. If you don't proactively work out your own issues, they'll never be worked out. You also have to actively materialize your life story rather than passively allowing it to play out on its own. But you have to never quit on yourself. The silver lining is that while embracing complete responsibility may be really ambitious, it isn't unattainable. You'll certainly meet challenges and setbacks while going after worthwhile goals. But if you merely continue your willingness to ante up the price, you'll sooner or later succeed. Step two is being dedicated. Do you have anyone around you that is already successful? Try asking him or her about his or her success. If he or she tells you that success is easy, hightail it as fast as you're able to as you're about to hear a sales pitch for some product. The honest truth is that it's truly hard to win at something you've never executed previously. But that's absolutely all right. Get the picture in your mind that failure and success aren't opposites. If you bomb, it signifies that you are taking action, so you're making mistakes and training yourself. Success occurs by nature once you've finally learned how to take the right actions. Take one step at a time. Be patient with yourself as you experience failure. Remember that when you're pursuing a goal you truly want, when you have that sort of feeling that nearly brings you to tears when you consider it as you connect with it so deeply, then you have to persist with it. Regardless of how hard it gets, don't stop. If you're clear about what you want, settle for nothing less. Admit that success will take time, maybe much longer than you'd like. Free yourself from the fast and simple, something for nothing mentality. Keep your head down, work hard, and comprehend that your work will eventually pay off, as long as you carry on learning and developing. This is what separates the successful from the unsuccessful. The third step is the law of visualization. It plays a very significant role in forcing the universe to get you what you want. Did you know that our thoughts are like transmission signals? When you think about something, you transmit it out into the universe. It's as simple as that. The more you focus your thoughts on something, you start to manifest it. Think of it like the power of concentration. To make something real, you have to spend more time concentrating on it. Add more emotions into it as if it is real. The better you are at it, the faster you will materialize your dreams. The longer you focus on a single thing, then it is likely to come true, whether you are aware of it or not. Here are a few examples of how it works in reality. If you focus on poverty, you will attract poverty. If you focus on love, you will receive love. 
So at the end of the day, your energy flows where attention goes. Everything is just a thought to the universe. Our emotion plays a big part of any visualization exercise, so it is very important to start with good, positive thoughts and feelings. When you feel good, you can attract more feelings of feeling good. So if you focus on positive thoughts, you will attract a lot of positive things from the universe. If you focus on negative thoughts, you will attract a lot of negative things from the universe. Therefore, you have to visualize your desire to attract your desire. Know what you want and start manifesting it. Although visualization is an easy and convenient tool to use through daydreaming, mental rehearsals, imagination, and fantasizing. However, with the lack of power of these images, visualization is usually used to create unwanted experiences where the greatest fears are mentally rehearsed over and over in the mind. To overcome this, you can create a vision board to make those intangible thoughts tangible. Write down your goals and then find images that match with those goals. Create a vision board using magazines and cut out the words and images that resonate with you. The purpose of your vision board is to bring everything to life. Once you are done with your vision board, create a sacred space for it so you can look at it every day. After creating your vision board, you have to feel it with full emotion. Why emotions? If the thoughts are the formulation of your desire, the emotions give them context. The key is to create an alignment of your thoughts and emotions. Act as if you already possess the things pictured on your vision board. The house, the car, or your business. Say, this is already mine. Imagine that you want to manifest one billion dollars. What emotion does that thought evoke in you? Can you feel complete joy and gratitude for having that kind of money? Never underestimate the power of emotions. Feel your emotions and state your goals in the present tense as if you have already achieved them. The last step is repetition. What you have to do is pretty simple. Look at the images on your vision board over and over. Why so? Because if you visualize consistently, you will become more motivated to do the things that will get you at least closer to what you're dreaming about. You'll be getting inspired as to what to do. You will be getting hunches to act upon. Repetitiveness of vision combined with your associated emotions will develop your power to visualize and take action to achieve your goals. With all these steps combined, you have a formula to succeed. You can literally force the universe to give you whatever you want, whenever you want. This is the Power of Attraction Mantra Secrets.